truck Michigan deer season's opening up Me and my buddies up before the sun Duramax headed up to 131 Driving up to the UP Leaving right out of Ottawa County There's no place I'd rather be Than hunting up at Camp A tag for a doe, tag for a buck Michigan deer season's opening up Good morning everybody Hope you're having a safe and fantastic season Thanks for joining us for this deer camp series If you haven't yet, do me a favor Subscribe right now Last year in the part one video, we had nearly 300,000 views. So appreciate that from everybody. But we've got maybe 9,000 subscribers, which is double what it was the year before. Fantastic. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Take care. Enjoy the video. How many totes did you bring this time? One last and last year for 16. <laughs> hey, this is everything? Yeah. Wow, not bad. Actually, uh, uh, only more stuff this, than last year, or about the same. Uh, I have less clothes, but I'm bringing two stands this year, so it's it actually kind of evens out. I thought I was going to have less stuff this year uh, because I wanted to have a little flexibility there. Uh, no, I'm excited. This is a new pickup, isn't it? Yeah, this is Grandpa's oldest brother's truck. And uh, it's been kept in real con good condition, and I bought it just a couple weeks ago. Um, it's an 86 F350. Uh, it's, it's in yeah, really good condition, Not only 61,000 miles, so it's hardly been used. It's basically mint. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping it's just... It's kind of the, the truck to take for breakfast with the guys on Saturdays, but um, I'm hoping at least it'll haul my camper a couple times a year, too. Driving it a little bit to kind of wake it up from its slumber. Even though he's passed now, one of my memories of uh, Uncle Bruno that I, I really remember distinctly is him being a fireman. And so I kind of figured that's why he went with the red truck. He had quite a few things that were red like that. and. It just always made me think of, relate it to him being a firefighter. There's some of uh, the mats inside our fireman mats. Oh, are they? Yeah, let's check that out in a minute. Oh, yeah, sure enough. That's awesome. Oh, look at that pan all seasoned. Yeah, looking forward to making a meal. Look at that. Got some straight 30 weight running in it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Good deal. Yeah. Excited? Very. Looking awesome. forward to getting up there and Oh my gosh. Could that be him? Is he on time? He's early. Guys, it's Nick. It's what time 20, is it? Twenty-three and we're here at four thirty. Wow. Oh, uh, we give Nick crap, but He's basically one of the OGs. I've only got a few more totes, guys. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait. I love it. <laughs> Need to try and fit anything in the back, or? It's possible, yeah. All right. Yeah. 
that we'll continue to stay safe. And uh, I also pray that we'll have a good time and a meaningful time. And uh, make plenty of new memories at this camp. Yeah, I pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Uh, we're just about 100 miles south of the bridge, yeah. excited to get up to camp and uh, just have an awesome time of uh, camaraderie together and enjoy uh, God's creation. Uh, Nick, I know you've been talking about hunting uh, some public land again this week. I think all of us will be getting a good taste of that. A good mix of that private land. Yeah, hoping for good things. Uh, we're going to get up there just as quick as we can and Get some scouting in, get some stands set, and then uh, get out of the woods. And... Well, I mean, maybe there'll be a little bit of snow. I mean, it looks a little warm this week, but we can always pray for it. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, last year when we were coming up, we were, uh, you know, hitting black ice and all kinds of things. And, yeah, much, much more mild, at least on the trip up. You never know if things could change right. real quick, but we're up here. Yeah, you're hunting with your 270 this week? Yep. Yep, 270. Uh, my 450 Bushmaster. Uh, Travis is going to be hunting with 243. Brian, 3030 lover? <clears throat> yep, 3030. I did throw in my 450 in my case as well. Sweet. Uh, put a scope on that this year and we'll see how it goes. Whether I definitely want to use my 3030, but I threw it in there just in case. You know, I still have two tags available. So, why not? Why not bring it? Yeah. Good deal. Well, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, looking forward to this season. We'll see what happens. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Good. I didn't wake you up, did I? Oh, no, I was just kind of tossing around a little bit. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are super excited to see you later today. Yeah, same here. I'm pumped. Yeah. I think we've got about four hours left in our trip here, so I thought it would be a good time to call you since uh, you got a nice short trip in, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Awesome. I think, uh, yeah, I want to say somewhere around the span of three hours, something like that. Wow, must be nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy about that, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. 
Cool. Uh, you got any questions or you feel like you, you got everything you need for the uh, adventure? I think for the most part, yeah. Um, if there's any like standout items uh, that you'd like me to grab or bring up, um, I'd be happy to, but I think I have all the basics packed. Okay. Well, traditionally, the the new guy that comes in the camp for the that week, they clean out their the outhouse with their hands. So, if you got any rubber gloves, you might want to bring those. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then, uh, generally, when a guy gets their first deer at the camp. They shave their head bald, so if you got a razor, that would be good. Oh man, I've been waiting to do that. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be aerodynamic. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, really, that's that's pretty much it. We should be good other than those couple of items. Right on, perfect. <laughs> well, I think I'm set then. Awesome. Well, we'll see you there. I'll send you another text as we're you know, kind of along the way, just so you kind of know what's going on. Perfect. Sounds good. I'll see you guys pretty soon then. All right. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Okay, so we uh, just arrived at camp. We're going to get uh, stands and mule and everything unloaded and uh, hurry up and get our skeleton done. And Oh, wait a minute. Actually, we arrived at the other camp. Check it out. Alright, so we're pulling into camp here. Uh, Travis just arrived as well. We got stuck once already, but we're out. We're pulling in here. Super excited to get set up. A rough ride. Slay some deer. Absolutely. Awesome. Find the place okay? Yeah, pretty much, except for when Google Maps died three times. Oh no. Me back a little bit. Okay. Other than that, pretty awesome. Sweet. Yeah. It's a ways back in the woods. Yeah, a little more secluded than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Kind of makes for a fun ride though. Yeah. Alright, welcome to the grand opening of the Camp Benny 2.0 Deer Camp. Here we go. 22 years ish in the making. Yep. Check her out. Yes. Oh, I see some dead flies. So oh, that's right. Zombie. Zombie flies. 
too. Thank you, sir. Wow. Check it out, boys. Wow. So much asset. This is nice. Very nice. Living room. Kitchen. This is pure luxury. Yeah, propane lighting. Nice. Luxury. Electric generator. No water. No water yet. Yet. Yeah, it looks like there is a... I don't know, is that a VCR or DVD player? Simple. Yep. Just the way we like it. Yeah. More space. Got a heater here, plus... A heater in the other room. The ceremonial buck hanging here at deer camp. There we go. Yep. Oh. Let's tilt them. Um, yeah, downward even more so. Other way. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here we go. What do you think? Fantastic. Pretty neat. Super exciting. Well, we had to bring a deer to know what a deer looks like, but it feels good. It's a nice, nice place. Yeah. Unreal, a little different than the old trailer. Yeah, yeah this is about the nicest deer camp I've ever uh, settled down in. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Feels weird not having one. Oh, yeah. What am I do tonight? Already adding some flair to the place. I like your style. Yeah. Let's see here. You can tell Kenna does the decorating at home. <laughs> So we got uh, everything moved into the camp here. Uh, Nick and Brian just ran over to the original camp, uh, do some scouting and get some stands set up over that way. And so we're gonna head over, there's an existing box blind uh, on this property. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, probably get uh, some chairs all set up in there. Uh, hunt it at least some point this week. Uh, if there's any sign then uh, maybe Travis and I will even sit there on the opener and then uh, I've been shopping on Onyx for a while uh, looking at all the turning features and everything around here um, and got some idea ideas for some other uh, stand sets out here so super excited to uh, hunt this new property and the areas around it stay tuned Heater and everything. Ever hunted out of a full blown cabin before? <laughs> it's gonna be nice. I don't think we're gonna be roughing it in there. <laughs> Look like you got a clear lane. Oh, yeah. I think uh, if I'd seen it from this angle, I might have hit just a s smidge more off the right, but. Yeah. It so
What do you think of this deer camp so far, Travis? Very nice. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, first class all around. <laughs> You've been really missing out all these years at the other camp, but you know, <laughs> what can we do? Yep. So we uh, just went and got the box blind all trimmed out and everything, all set. And then we did some scouting on some public land nearby and we found a spot with lots of signs. So we went ahead and got things set up there, got a camera hung there and back at the box blind. So they're both cellular cams. So we'll just kind of keep an eye and see what kind of traffic we get. You Heck excited yeah. for the opener? Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Super excited, one might say. <laughs> That's all good. <coughs> Thanks for picking up pizza guys. No problem. Let me know if that feels like it's getting any colder. I got it lit a half hour ago probably. I got the furnace going in there. I ended up lighting it with a lighter. That worked. Mm -hmm. It's for the last 30 minutes. That thing's look over there. Really good? Yeah. Good. Saw some sign? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. So I'll shoot a buck. You did? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah, just dropped him off and turned around the corner and he's crossing the path. Yep. At three o'clock, doing his, his big loop. Making his loop, huh? Yeah. Making his round, looking he's for the lady. Wide, but not, not super tall. But okay. Heck yeah. Awesome. Okay, shot. That's exciting. Yeah, excited. Yeah. Well, we set up uh, two spots. One being, of course, that box blind gathering all. Uh, these guys got it all trimmed out and everything. And I got a camera, cell cam set up there. And I don't know if I, remember when I told you on Onyx, I thought I saw maybe what could be a blind that? It's that blind. Oh, sweet. So found it, but right on the edge of the swamp there, there's there's a lot of deer browsing going on and whatnot. So got a camera set up there. I think that's gonna be a, a good spot over the years. Yep. Did he? No, no, no that's how much it costs him. Yeah. Oh, Travis, are you waiting? I'm just jumping by. November 13th, 2023, Camp Benny. So we are at the new camp. Amy and I came out Labor Day weekend. We walked through the place. I knew right away this is the place for us. This is the future for Camp Benny. And so I put in an offer and it was accepted, thankfully. And uh, I am just incredibly excited Super excited, even one might say, about getting the new camp. 40 acres, we have access to uh, plenty more, tens of thousands of acres, not far away at all, of public land. We have a new, I won't even say guest, because this is my son in law, Travis. It's an honor to be part of the gang. I'm pumped. Yeah. Travis is from Wisconsin, and uh, just grateful to have him up, and uh, hoping that he's going to connect with his first deer this week. Hoping to sit with him on the opener, uh, me, Travis, and Ben Jr. We went out today on the new property, it's quite possible that Travis will get the, the first deer at the new camp. 
we'll see what happens. But I'll say that there was an existing box blind on the camp and there was plenty of sign around it. There was a very good runway coming right into it. So we, we got things set up, all trimmed out. The seller hadn't hunted the camp in a few years. So quite a few of the shooting lanes were overgrown and whatnot. But we got that all trimmed out. Uh, we also then after that went out uh, scouting a bunch of the public land and we found uh, a spot on the edge of the swamp that just looked pretty mo. So we set a cell cam there. We uh, picked a tree that if I'm seeing good or if we're seeing good activity there, we're going to go ahead and hang uh, probably a double set of tree stands there, possibly a ground blind. Uh, otherwise, uh, if we don't see a lot of activity there, then we'll probably hunt the, the box line that we turned out today. So really pumped, Brian and Nick. Uh, Nick and I are going to both go back to the old camp. Um, I'm going to hunt the box line only because we know what's around. We've had camera there for a long time. Uh, we know the sign and, and we've killed a lot of deer out of it. So opening morning, I'll sit there. Uh, and just kind of go from, from there. Uh, drop Nick off uh, when he went to set up his stand and we saw a buck cruising, uh, cruising his usual circle. So pretty, pretty nice buck. So Nick and I are going to have some competition uh, to see who can kill him first. Dibs. He's got dibs, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, even though, so Nick is uh, a ways away from Brian, but historically, uh, the two stands have been seeing a lot of the same deer. Yeah. And this is a dark chocolate rack. Dark, dark right? wide chocolate rack. Oh yeah, he's gonna make his rounds historically. Yeah. So, good big woods buck, eight pointer, you think, or seven or eight? It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Great. Good luck. I hope you get him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I Brian helped me get my stand set up as well, and uh, yeah, there's lots of sign. There was uh, a really nice scrape uh, heading up to the stand and area, so I'm uh, pretty pumped about what the potential is up there. So looking forward to it. Right on. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you get. I don't know. Somehow you guys are gonna get. Each the same walker. Have a look, you guys. I'll drag it halfway. Go shoot it. It's got two bullet holes in it or something like yeah. that. Brian, I'll say I've done a lot of bow hunting with him this season. He's he's been hunting hard. Yeah. So I'd love to see him connect, if nothing else, for for that reason. And for Nick, he brought twenty seven lust totes, <laughs> and he showed up early this morning to drive up here. So Nick has done that, but on a serious note, Nick's been hunting some public land around home. He's been putting his head down there and uh, had some opportunities, you know, the whole ups and downs that we all are familiar with, with hunting season. So I really hope that you connect to it would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I, I'm just excited to see what everyone gets, you know. Yep. Um, could be a little different this year, not hunting. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see uh, what people get, and I'm really hoping Travis puts a smack down on at least a deer. Um, hopefully, the first deer to camp, you know, that'd be really cool. Um, or he could be like the wall, you know, where he could be the first person to miss completely miss a deer <laughs> and be right underneath that plaque so the hall of shame so the risks are you know 50 50 so <laughs> um but yeah this is a really cool camp and there's a lot of opportunities now to expand it and build on it so yeah, yeah I'll, say, excited about it. I'll say too i'm really excited to have you up here and you know I bought this camp two months ago and I've spent 20 minutes, you know, on a walkthrough and and I did a virtual closing. So I've been just chomping at the bit 
for, I mean, you haven't had a chance to even see it mm -hmm. until now, and so it's, it's nice saw to video. finally <laughs> get up here. It. And yeah, you saw a little bit of video, but. That didn't, that didn't justify how cool it is in person. Yeah. There's a lot of little things that we're still discovering here and there. And yep. Um, especially the geography yeah. of like the land. It's not super different, but it is super different at the same time from camp. And we're getting moved right in here. We, uh, Brian and Nick, when they went over to the original camp, they uh, kind of looted some of the things out of it on a good note, you know, mm -hmm. to uh, kind of bring some of that into the new camp and uh, kind of merge them, so to speak. So who knows, we might spend some nights still at the, the other camp. I, I don't know where where the, where we'll land with that, you know. But uh, for now anyways, we brought a lot of the things here and, and some new items as well to uh, just bring that whole uh, deer camp tradition together. Travis, what do you got to say? Well, let's see here. I'm just excited to be here. This is like Christmas for me. Um, <laughs> I got even more excited when we got out into the woods. That box blind we were talking about is more of a wood cabin. It's awesome. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, and then getting to see uh, that thick woods and then a big open land in the middle of it, right in view of that box blind. Oh my gosh, it's it's like I'm in a candy store. So I'm feeling. <laughs> pretty good about tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. Right on. Well tomorrow we're actually going to be grocery shopping. So <laughs> oh. It used to be exciting. <laughs> yeah, you got to wait. I'm, I'm getting, sorry. I'm I wish it was up. tomorrow, man. I really <laughs> Me too. It, it's also yeah. worth noting I'm a little sleep deprived right now. You are. Yeah, you're also <laughs> bad, you know, well, dying I'm, on you. <laughs> Pretty much the whole day. Yeah, well, yeah, so we're doing the whole camp initiation thing. So uh, Travis rolling with the punches here. But He's taking them like a chain. From yeah. tags to... I don't even know what else. Yeah. Just one after another. Well, I'm looking forward to sitting with you in the opener. And uh, I just uh, pretty hope that you're, you, know, you have the opportunity to to put the smack down on one and connect on her first year. I think that'll be a very special, very cool moment. And uh, looking forward to it. And like you mentioned, that that blind was already on the property when I bought it. Um, you know, there, there's plenty of sign around it, so it seems like it probably likely about that. But we'll see what, what the other spots uh, show. Um, but yeah, it's it's fancier than a I've ever owned for sure. It's the nicest blind I've ever owned. Very well insulated, very well heated, cushy for sure. Oh yeah, luxury. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. Happy to be here. It's an honor. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to have you. It would be odd to not have you at this point. So yeah. Well, thank you guys. Good luck to y'all. Hoping to help you drag this week. Uh, for me, um, I don't have any more buck tags. Uh, you know, it, it could be a good problem to have, yet I, I'll admit, you know, I, I want that drive, you know, for that big buck, you know, kind of thing too. So it's, it's, it's uh, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I do have a doe tag. Um, we'll see if, if, if the right doe comes through. I've got my 450 Bushmaster this week, and um, I think we will be enough that if I, I feel that that's the, the doe I want to take, I won't spend too much time worrying about it. I'll go ahead and take that doe. But yeah. Okay, just slept the uh, first night in the new camp. Man, was it nice, spectacular, comfy beds. This uh, this place is sweet. Uh, guys are all looking like they're having lots of fun, and yeah, beautiful woods. Can't wait for the uh, opener tomorrow.
hold the cheese head part against us. <laughs> but well, it's you know we're gonna we're gonna have you tell a little bit about that story. But you know, <clears throat> you and I got to do some. Uh, I got to do something with you. Um, I think with the turkey. Yep. And I said, we're, we're in the UP, and we kind of hit it off because I've actually killed some turkeys and bucks. Well, who's going to fill their shoes, essentially? Uh, I saw a devotional that you had written a while ago, the George Jones yep. song. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck, fellas. Thank you. We'll head out shortly. time we'll, we hear a shot that way we'll be like was that you <laughs> <laughs> right. later dudes good luck
Wednesday, November 15th. Um, I'm currently sitting here in, in Camp Benny's OG box blind. Uh, it's barely hanging on, but I know there's good deer here. We see all them on camera, and I saw an actual shooter buck sitting up next stand. Uh, it's going to be a mild morning, but it'll be all right. I plan on doing an all-day sit, so I should be okay. I think we all should be okay. To me, it's just another day. I've been putting in some hard work all October, bow hunting, looking for a little bit of redemption myself. I had a nice buck at 53 yards with my bow just into the shoulder. Uh, it, it's a bummer, but I can't say it happens all the time, but it's unfortunate. Uh, so he, we, we, we think he's still alive, which is good. Here I am with uh, my Marlin 3030. I love this thing. Uh, my first time hunting with it. I'm excited for it. So uh, I'll keep updating throughout the day. Uh, the morning I kicked up one one deer. I don't know what it was yet, but I'm excited for today. So good luck to myself and good luck to everybody else in the camp. All right, it's November 15th up here at Camp Benny. I'm uh, hunting some public land here. <clears throat> um, really looking forward to hunting this week. Uh, yesterday when... Monday when I set up my stand, we saw a really nice scrape some ropes, um, some good sign around here, and then when I was coming out this morning, I kicked up at least three deer while uh, walking out to my stand, so uh, definitely looking forward to a game on this today, maybe. Um, on the trail camera, there was uh, a doe, maybe a couple doe. activity. It's a good sign. It's uh, probably will lead to some opportunities this week. Just gotta, as long as they do their part, I, I gotta do mine and try to make it happen. Really excited about being out here again. Um, on the plus side, it's, it's pretty warm. I'm not gonna freeze my butt off. Um, I really wish there was a little bit of snow the chance of seeing things that much better, but sure great to be out here again. Yeah. Um, wishing the best for all the guys that are out. Travis, hope you get get something today. I'll uh, get your first buck this week. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see that. Uh, Brian, hope you see some things as well. Um, Brian came out to the old camp with me this morning and uh, hoping that pans out well for him. I, I know that he's gonna see some deer, so um, yeah, I'm panning out to be a good week up here uh, and we can't beat our accommodations that we have. Uh, thank you, Ben, for, for that. That's pretty killer. Yeah, between the camaraderie, the food, the accommodations, and the activity we have. Um, should pan out pretty cool. Alright, um, be out here hunting, and I will, uh, we'll see what we can, can scoop up here.
awesome that whole herd of nothing that just trampled through here was. Alright, it's November 15. I just ate lunch here in the stand. And as you guys can probably pick up, it's been a slow morning. The squirrels, the blue jays, they're out in full force. But where are the deer? Trying to figure out how to make something happen. Kicked up some deer on the way in this morning. You'd think there'd be something moving around in here, but not a zilch. Nothing. Anyways, still a few more days. Brian seeing deer, seeing a bunch of doe this morning. Uh, so far as far as Ben is saying, he hasn't. They, him and Travis haven't seen anything. I do hope they start. I hope I start seeing something. Um, this stand. Usually, I get an opportunity to see or shot uh, an opportunity at something. I just have to. Stay on my guard. Stay ready at all times. It'll eventually happen, right? Alright, I'm done being sassy. Just send the deer, okay? Alright, good afternoon. Um, a little midday update. Uh, well, it's a lot warmer than I thought. Uh, I have seen seven does so far, but that's, it's been almost four hours since I last saw them. Uh, it's about 50 degrees, I think. I already had to shed some layers, just took off my jacket and, uh, nicer orange vest, so I'm going to relayer here in a second, but it is pretty warm. Uh, I haven't seen much moving i guess at four hours so i'm gonna sit all day i i had good good pizza lunch back to a couple pieces of pizza some m ms and some uh these peanut butter cups i'm all out so i can hang in there for the rest of the day but here's to a good afternoon okay so it's uh day two november 16th at the same stand. Uh, we had deer all night uh, coming by the trail camera. So we're now over there here. We saw a nice shooter buck yesterday, but couldn't get the shot off. It was just too thick. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll have some luck this morning. The weather's going to shift to really, really warm temps. Unseasonably warm, almost 60. This afternoon, and then Friday, the tones will drop freezing and below, so got quite a swing. Looking forward to this off, see what happens. All right, good morning. It's uh, November 16, uh, approximately. Here at Camp Benny. Uh, yesterday, um, yesterday was a pretty slow day, but uh, today is already um, much more active. I've seen two deer already, uh, a small spike, and then something else that was behind me that I, I couldn't, couldn't get uh, eyes on. Um, anyways, here's for uh, here's uh, pretty excited about sitting out here today. Um, I may sit out here all day. There's a chance of uh, maybe going in for lunch, too. We'll kind of see how things go. Yeah, it's it's very deery out. I mean, it's kind of chilly, kind of warm. I think there's a high of 60, 65 maybe today. 
It's a little warm for being out here, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, just having a, a great time so far this week. Uh, hanging out with the guys and uh, on the hunt for some some deer. So we'll uh, keep going after it and hopefully um, have some success later today. We will see. I sure hope I got that on video. Oh, he dropped like a sack of potatoes. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh dude. Oh, that was a nice buck. Oh, dude. He dropped right in his track, so I have to look at the footage to see if see if I I got that. Oh man. Okay, so um. in here um, I hadn't seen any deer since like um, I don't know for like an hour probably maybe a little less than that and um, man I bet you this is that deer that um, Brian saw earlier um, when we were setting up our stands he's nice and dark um, anyways uh, down at the bottom of the hill I just saw um, so I'm kind of slowly working his way up the hill, and um, yeah, man, Whew. that's so awesome. Yeah, deer down, buck down. So after reviewing the footage, it, it doesn't look like, like I quite got it on the the kill on on video. Um, I don't know, maybe after closer examination, I'll be able to find something. Um, shoot, but, um, uh, he dropped right in his tracks, he's right over there, I can, let me see if I can. Right there, you can kind of just make him out. looking at the camera thinking, hey, I, I think I got him. Should, should I take my time a little bit more and double check, but man, dude, I am so pumped about this. I'm gonna go down and take a look.
man. Look at what we have. Thank you, Lord. So awesome. A beautiful thank you Lord for this year. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude. Oh, yes. One for the buck pole. Super excited. Number 16 up here at Camp Benny. Um, right now it's 10:22 a.m. I shot this thing probably 45 minutes ago. Um, been a kind of a quiet start of the season, but this morning I did see uh, about a half hour before this guy came in. I saw a, a doe and a, a spike come in. I got a video of that. And, um, yeah, just kind of watching them for a bit, and they ran off uh, shortly after. And, um, I probably, I was kind of kicking myself, not shooting that doe a little bit, but, um, I was hoping, what I was, in the back of my head, what I was hoping is that following them, following that doe would be a, a buck. And, uh, yeah, uh, this guy came in from down at the bottom of the hill and started working his way up and um, kind of following the trail of those other deer and um, got the camera on him but only for a second um, and yeah uh, he dropped right in his tracks it was, uh, um, it was awesome didn't have to chase after it all. I just just connected right right timing. So very thankful. Thank you, Lord, for this deer and uh, this opportunity to be out here. Sorry, Uncle Ben. Dirtying your truck up. <laughs> all right. That's all she wrote. Okay, so here's the deal. I just gutted my deer, and the guys still don't know that I shot it. They don't know. Now. There's a small chance that Ben saw my comings and goings to the trailer here through his uh, um, his camera that he's got, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run at it like he doesn't, and we'll see. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I just gutted the deer. I'm gonna go get myself cleaned up, grab some ice stick it in its chest cavity and then go back to camp for lunch lunch and we'll see uh we'll see how long i can last without spilling the beans all right so they still don't know uh, i'm gonna run into the gas station here and get uh, my hands all cleaned up and 
and uh, I'm gonna get some ice and then head back to camp. Wahaha. Let's see how juicy this is. Am I the first one back? No. Brian's here. Oh. What'd you shoot? Nothing. I got down and put some of that out. November 16th, day two of the hunt, midday, Brian's cooking us up some jambalaya for lunch, and then we're going to quick head back out, but before we do so, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the new camp. So, front door, we come in here, we got kind of a, I don't know, mud room area I guess, place to hang our clothes and whatnot, shelves for our uh, pantry items totes to keep all the utensils and little pans stuff like that all away from mice just leave it at that <laughs> thank you <laughs> the camp is equipped with both propane lighting propane range you know stove top oven and a propane refrigerator super handy but also is wired for the generator so we have a generator out in the shed and so there's lights throughout, a uh, fan, TV, DVD player. Don't know what to do with all this stuff. All these amenities are so nice. Microwave. Uh, we're really mostly taking advantage of the, the propane side of things, but it is nice to uh, fire up the generator, get a little bit of that. Propane furnaces, so no wood burner to contend with. We all agree we miss that. Maybe that's something we'll add later, maybe not. I don't miss getting up every two hours in the night though. These windows rock, they slide really nice and lock and everything like that. Nick was just mentioning how in the old trailer at the old camp about how his back would always be freezing. You know, one part of his body would be freezing closest to the window because the draft would just come right on through. So. We are sleeping really nice here. My bed's super comfortable and uh, something that was really cool too is, you know, there isn't a lot of uh, light pollution out there because we're, we're remote. And so the stars that I can see just laying on my head on the pillow at night are just amazing, <laughs> really awesome. A uh, great place to recharge. We got the sink here. We get no water at camp. So we're still bringing in our own water, but we have a drain that goes down to the bucket and then we can just pitch our gray water that way. Uh, so at least we have means to wash dishes. We can heat up the, the water right on the stove top and everything. Uh, we are firing up the generator for, we've got two coffee pots, two coffee makers, 12 cup. Uh, they also have a feature, what's that called, where you can just pull it? Uh, sneak, a, sneak a cup. Sneak a cup feature. How handy is that? Who wants to wait for a 12 cups to all, you know, percolate, drip, and all that? Gotta get started right away. So we got a charging station here, outlet strip for all the guys, chargers and everything for their phones. There is two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 outlet strip. It's a good start. Recharging all camera batteries, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we took the photo collage from the original camp. Got to bring a piece of that camp to this camp, right? So that's pretty nice. 
Brought some euros from the other camp as well as some mounts, a couple mounts from home. Uh, kind of give it the, the whole deer camp ambiance. And uh, yeah, make it right away. It just kind of feels like ours already because these things mean something to us. Furniture, oh my gosh, this is so comfy. All these chairs, recliners, stuff like that. Can't believe it. New to us dinner table, just right size for the crew. Uh, yeah, thermostat, just set your heat and leave. Come on, whoa, how neat is that? Yeah, uh, did you catch a shot of the propane lighting like over the sink and we got it right in the living room here. Alright, then back here we have the bedroom. Also has a wall furnace in it, uh, just like the living room does, only about half the size of a wall furnace. At this end there's a thermostat as well, uh, so we can just set our temperature and, and good to go. Again, awesome sliding windows, the place is tyvac it's uh, Got the whole vapor barrier and everything around the foundation, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just really, 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 really major upgrade from the old uh, trailer there. Uh, as far as restrooms, has an outhouse. Uh, something that's kind of neat is there's a light switch right over the kitchen sink that turns the power on to the outhouse. And so a light turns on out there as well as it powers the outlet and it actually has a little space heater in there. So it's nice and toasty in there in the morning. That was pretty convenient this morning. Gave it a whirl and uh, I won't lie, that was, that was nice. Am I uh, missing anything that you could think of? No, you walked past the gun rack, but I kind of got it on the shot. Oh yeah, we took the gun rack from the... Uh, the original camp as well. Yeah, good way to point that out. Um, the wall clock that was over the table all those years and everything. We got that hung up. Yeah, we've got some photos, some canvas ones printed uh, up through Walgreens. Just some good memories. I'm sure we'll be adding some more of those in the years to come. This rack here's kind of special. Uh, there was the, our 2013 Camp Benny uh, gun hunt video. I think Ben Jr. was like 11 or something. Just a little squirt sitting in the blind with me when I shot that buck. and So that's just kind of cool. It's, uh, so we took a Sharpie and wrote right on it. 2013 UP out of the box blind. That's where Travis and I will be going this evening and hopefully he'll get his first deer. So pretty special building Good memories. Really loving the new camp. Uh, hanging on to the original camp uh, for now. It was really nice uh, already in these first couple days to be able to use the two camps. So yeah, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, quick glimpse at this refrigerator, freezer. I just think this thing's kind of neat just because it's all vintage and everything, but it comes with the over freezing feature. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Old school. We are spoiled. Open for your butter. It's really cool. Yeah, it's. Beats the coolers outside in the snow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> With bullet holes in them and stuff. Because we found them in the woods somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese chest. Dial your temp there, light your pilot down there, good to go. Yeah. I think that's it. The years of some tag suit. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, yep. this is kind of perfect. Could we go outside and look in the back of the truck? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot deer? 
Maybe we have to go outside and look. <laughs> it's been killing me, you guys. You guys. <laughs> what? What? Is it the, uh... <laughs> Are you serious? Way to carry on the tradition. Classic. This is definitely. <laughs> Nobody ever gets me. <laughs> Blood on the sheet. Weird. How did that get there? Oh, what is that? Are you That's, what? Your favorite. That's the one. Nice. <laughs> Got him. Oh, yes. Dude, that's awesome. Congratulations. Like the one that you saw the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Super pumped. So about half hour after I saw those other two deer, he came out and uh, a nice got it. Yeah, it is a nice. I, I like the dark. Uh, That's why you were saying you had to stop with the gas. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I did clean up a bit. I tried to hide it. See, there's some, some ice in there. There's nice. some ice in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty quiet coming in. Ah, oh, now I see why you want to leave. Now you guys are never going to trust a single thing I say <laughs> <laughs> ever again. Wow. Nice. Well played. Well played. <laughs> now we get to figure out where to hang them. Perfect timing, too. Oh, yeah. So if we want to hang them at camp, the old camp later, we can, or if we want to find a spot here. Whatever. Yeah. Huh. Where was he? Hmm? Where was he? So he yeah, came up from the bottom of the hill and was just kind of moseying. Um, so I got him a little bit on camera and I um, I thought he was good and I took the shot. He dropped right in his tracks. Nice. Um, I didn't get the kill shot on video as much as I'd like, but uh, I was super, I didn't want him to go. <laughs> I was right. like pretty eager. Yeah, you I made did, the right decision. I got a little bit of him on, on video. But. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, in the back of my head, I was kind of hoping that something would follow those other two, and uh, I think he was kind of sniffing the trail of that doe, possibly. Um, I don't okay. know. That's a thought. He wasn't really interested in anything else. He was just kind of moseying. So. You butthole! I can't believe you put <laughs> the wool over my eyes on that. <laughs> Mister, I didn't see much of anything, you know. Yeah. He's like, I only saw a doe and a the spike. stupid spike, but <laughs> the doe was smart and the spike wasn't. Oh my gosh, Nick. <laughs> that just made my day. Wow, Nick. Good job. Good job. Nice. Six, six point. We might have a little bit of truck. Yeah, that's now. a big six. Yeah, that's, <laughs> one, that's one. exactly the one I Nice, saw. Nice deer, I really like it. Wow. He dropped right away. I mean, no, no run and nothing, just down. Six. No brow times. Did you All our gear loaded in the truck. Michigan deer season's opening up. Me and my buddies up before the sun. Duramax headed up to 131. Driving up to the UP, leaving right out of Ottawa County. There's no place I'd rather be than hunting up at Camp Bay. Got a tag for a dough, tag for a buck. Michigan deer season's opening up.